Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Malone Runway Max 4x hanging rack right here on our 2019 Ford Explorer. The Malone Runway is a very uniquely designed bike rack. It actually sits lower than your usual hanging style bike rack. So on other vehicles, it sits too low to the ground. On the Explorer though, with a factory hitch, it's perfect. So we're gonna take a look at some different specs, different measurements, just to see if this is gonna be the right fit for you, your bicycles, and your vehicle. This is the max, which means that it has a four bike capacity, so it's about a little further than the other versions of the Malone runway. Some things I wanna point out is gonna be the weight capacity. It does have a weight capacity of 33 pounds per bike, but notice how well it holds onto the bike. It's a very, very sturdy fit. All our um, points here are nice and secure. The cradles sit seven inches apart, center to center, and even though they have extra space between them, you don't get any sway because of that anti-rattle or the anti-sway cradle. At the end, you have a lock core. That way you can secure your bikes to your bike rack. The bikes are held down by three mounting points. So you have one, two here on top, and then you have our third, which is our anti-sway cradle. So notice how much sway we have with that attached. If you pull on that strap and then disengage this, now you have a lot more sway. So let's take off all the other straps. Again, you pull it and then you take it out of that tab. And when all three straps are out, don't forget to push that anti-sway cradle up. That's way you can take your bike through the arms. So the reason you have such a good and sturdy fit is because of the way this is designed to help you figure out the best fit. So this swings back and forth just so that you can find where it fits well on the frame. You also have two different tabs so you can choose which one creates a tighter traction. These cradles swing around as well. So if you have a larger bike, definitely go ahead and swing them all the way out. If you have your children's bikes though, you can just bring this in and then it's easier to fit those smaller frames inside these arms. With this being the Runway Max, it adds a fair amount of length to the back of our Explorer. So we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much. I'm going to measure from our rear bumper all the way to the end by that lock core and it sits about 38 inches of length. Definitely something keeping in mind whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that you have a bike rack as well as four bikes behind you. You can also bring this down into the compact position, but before we do that, notice how with our arms up, it doesn't sit up above our windshield wiper. So even with our bikes behind us, you can still see out of your rear window, which is something most other hanging racks don't have. Now to fold it down, we have this pin and clip. Pull that clip, that way you can pull that pin then these arms fold down. After you secure the pin and the clip, you now have this in the compact or portable position. So we'll take some measurements because it's a big difference compared to when the arms were folded up. Closest point is gonna be from our bumper to that mast, and we have five, five and three quarter inches of clearance, plenty of clearance there. The length now added to the back of our vehicle is gonna be bumper to those cradles, 13 inches. So big difference compared to when the arms were folded up. You'll definitely want it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town. You're not planning on taking your bikes out just yet. We also don't want to take your bike rack off. And if you want to access your hatch though, you are going to have to take your bikes off and then you can tilt the bike rack away. So there's a clip. There's another pin here. This drops down to a tilt. It's not a very deep tilt. But you can see here how we still have clearance between our door and our mast, allowing us to get into our trunk. So now we can grab our waters, our helmets, our bags. You do have to take the time to take your bikes off first. Not as easy as a platform rack that tilts away, but it's still nice to know that you have that option. 
So most bike racks, especially platform racks, you take measurements for ground clearance with the bikes on them. In our case here, because the runway is has a different design, it sits lower to the ground when the arms are folded down. So we'll take some ground clearance measurements. First is gonna be from the bottom of the arms to the ground, we have 16 and three quarter inches. Then right where that shank is, 19 and a half. And right where it fits into the shank or into the hitch receiver, about 20 or 19 and three quarter inches. So you can see here, usually when you go to steep inclines, you'll have to be conscious about ground clearance because once you have those hills and those driveways, your front goes up, your back goes down. This sits close enough to the hitch where it's not gonna be an issue. And on other bike racks, you have to lift higher up to get your bikes onto the bike rack here. It sits right where your windshield wiper, so it is a good fit. This has an inch and a quarter shank with an included two inch hitch adapter. So we're using that because we have a two inch hitch receiver on our Ford Explorer. This also has an anti-rattle bolt, but not long enough to get a lock. So this uses a three quarter inch socket or a wrench to tighten it down. And then that creates an anti-rattle effect. So to demonstrate, as I shake our bike rack, oh, it's a really, really solid fit. Notice how even the arms are not moving. So some people are worried about, okay, if it has an inch and a quarter shank, will there be extra movement? As you can see, it's a very secure fit. So what is it like living with a Malone runway bike rack behind you? Well, with it folded up like this, notice how our rear window is still completely visible. Our taillights are obviously visible. It doesn't take up much space behind our vehicle other than we us having to tilt this away to access our hatch. Now our backup camera does sit right behind where that mast is. So it is gonna cover most of your view. There's enough clearance that you will still be able to see behind you but definitely worth something considering. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps, and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. So my personal thoughts about this bike rack is I really like how it all fits. The Malone runway doesn't fit on most vehicles, so it's nice to see that the Explorer has a hitch receiver that's high enough that it was a really good pairing. Other hanging racks, a good comparison would be the Yakima Back Road. That one has the cradles far apart as well. It also has a cable lock, slightly more premium features since that one uses zip strips, this uses rubber strips, but it's really, really tall where it covers half of your window and you have to lift your bikes higher up. This one works well, it's not as intrusive, it's very compact, doesn't have as much of a weight capacity, so make sure to weigh your bikes and that they are within 33 pounds. If they are, this might be a really, really good fit for you and your vehicle. And that was a look here at our Malone Runway Max 4 bike hanging rack here on our 2019 Ford Explorer.